Howdy, howdy everyone. Today in this video, you will learn all about contact groups. Formally, contact groups is popular as distribution list. In this video, you will learn how to create a contact group, how you can edit the contact group and how you can merge two different contact groups and how you can remove or add additional member in the contact group and how you can entirely delete your contact group. What is contact group? Contact group is usually prepared when you want to email a specific message to different people and that email you want to send on the regular basis. So what you have to do, you have to every time enter the email address of your members one by one and most probably you will miss to enter the email address of your member of the group. So it is better to create a contact group and that way you can simply enter the name of the contact group and the mail will be sent to all the members with a single click. So let's get started. There are two methods to create a contact group. First, simply go to the home tab, click on new items, here more items and you will see the option contact group. You can click here and that contact group window appears. And here is the option people. Simply hit here. Now you are on the contact window. Now here you will see all the members. Now if you want to create a group, what you have to do initially. Here in the home tab, there is an option new contact group in the new section. Click here and that will take you to the same window. Now here you have to first name the group. So I want to create a group for my Black Friday sale. So what I have to do is to name it Black Friday sales. Now the next step is I have to add members on it. So currently there is no member. So to add the member, I have to click on add members. When I click on here, I have three options from Outlook contacts, from address book and new email contact. These two options, Outlook contacts and address book are relatively same. But in this case, this is new email contact. That means if you don't have the email address added in your address book, you can manually type and add that member in your contact group. So I will show you from the first option from Outlook contacts. When you click here, your contact list is appears. Now, first of all, you can change the email address to select your contacts. Now I have multiple email addresses and I want to create a group from these list of email addresses. So first I want to randomly select to show you like this. Mm, next one is uh, this, this and this. Now simply click on the members to add all the selected email address in the list in a queue. Now your selected email addresses are added here. Now simply hit OK. And you will see I have selected four members to add in the group Black Friday sales. Now, the next step is I want to show you the other option, which is from address book. When I click here, again, the same contact address book appears. That means both these app options are almost similar. Now, the third option is new email contact. When I click on that, that add new member dialog box appears. I have selected this because I don't have the email address saved in my contact or my address book. I have clicked on third option, add new member. Now here I can simply fill the columns, display name, say I want to add myself. So I type my name Amit and I have to add the email address of myself. So I add the email address. Now custom type you can leave as it is let outlook uh, decide the best sending format leave this as it is now there is an option add to contacts if you want to add the new contact details of the member to your contact you can check out this option or just leave as it is by default outlook select the option so the next time you don't have to select the third option, this email ID and the name is already added in the contact list. Simply hit OK. So you will see a dialog box appears, which is duplicate contact detected. That's a very classy feature of Microsoft Outlook. Whenever you add a new contact in Microsoft Outlook and in the inputs you enter, whether it is a full name 
or your job title or the email address matches the details of your existing contact system automatically detect it and show you whether you are creating a new contact maybe the name is similar but the email address is different or you want to add the inputs to your existing contact so in my case the details i am entering is a different one all i have to do is to select the add new contact instead of selecting this update information of selected contact the backup copy will be saved in a deleted item folder so i don't want to do that i have to create a new contact so i select this and simply hit add the email address is added in my contact group also as well in the my contact list now my contact group is ready the name is beautiful the members are already added and simply hit save and close now i have to enter the name in my two lines so i have to enter black friday sale and here it automatically appears when i click on here that will add it in my two line and you can see the plus sign in the prefix of the name that means this is a group and it consists of multiple email addresses if you want to expand it you can simply click on the plus sign and all the email addresses will be appeared and expand like this now the next option is how you can edit your contact group edit means you want to add a new member or you want to remove an existing member of the group how you can do that click on people and you will see the entire list of contacts which consist of your group also but it is very difficult to find your group so it is better you can go to the home tab in the find section you have an option search people you can simply type the name of your group so i type black so i have two black friday so this is my group which is my existing live group simply click on here and you will see the group click on this ellipses and there is an option added contacts click here and again your black friday sale group dialog box open now i want to remove a existing contact so what i have to do is to simply select it and there is an option remove member in the contact group tab under member section there is an option remove member you can simply remove it and simply click update now and you can also click save and close that means you have removed a member from your contact group now if you want to further add additional members in it you can simply again click on this add members you can select from outlook contacts or address book or you can add a new email contact in the group so i will show you step by step process so i i have already four existing members in the group and i want to add say this email id and this email id so i just selected both of them using my control key that will help me to select multiple email address at once now again click on members that will add it in the list here simply hit okay as soon as i click okay all the email addresses again added in the group simply hit save and close and you have very easily modified your contact group just like that so in case if you want to merge two different groups into one what you have to do again go to the people now you will have all the list here search for your existing group in which you need to add a different one so i want to type black friday that is my existing group i have already created just now click on the ellipses here again click on added contact so if i want to add a different group in this group what i have to do i have to click add members here click on from outlook contacts now there are two options you can scroll down and find out the group this is my existing group because it is already in the bold form and there is another group which is halloween i have also few more groups like sales team so instead of scrolling from your mouse you can also directly type here sales hit enter now the sales team appears simply select it click in on the members the sales team is added here this sales team already consist of multiple members so simply hit select click members simply hit okay now your sales team is also added in my existing group which is black friday sales simply hit save and close now my contact group is ready to send now i will show you once again how i can send the mail to the group 
by entering a single name in my email address. Click on new email, type Black Friday sales. The name is added in here and you can simply enter the subject, enter the content in the message board and simply send the button. And when you send this email, all the members will receive the same email and you don't have to add the email address of every member one by one. Now, one thing I want to show you that when I type Black Friday sales and when I click on this plus sign, see my existing contact are already visible and the group, this is the group, the sales team, what I have merged in it. If I want to expand this, again, I have to click on this plus sign and see all the members, including my existing group, as well as the sales team, all the email addresses are added in the Black Friday sales contact group. Now, it is very easy to send a specific email to all the members without entering the email address separately. That way, you can very easily create a contact group, you can merge them, you can edit them. And finally, there is one thing left, which, which is if you want to delete your group, what you have to do. I will show you again, go to the people, again, click on the Black Friday in the search tab, Black Friday sales, click here, edit content. Now, there is an option, which is delete group in the action section. You can simply click here or you can also use control D keyboard shortcut to remove or delete the contact group entirely from your system. The outlook asks you a final confirmation. Do you want to delete this contact group? You can simply click yes and your contact group is removed from the outlook application. That way, you can create a new group, you can edit the new group, you can very easily merge two separate groups in one and you can finally delete the group. These are few different different segments that are covered in this video. I hope you have learned a new feature of Microsoft Outlook. If you like this video, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solver videos I come up. Thank you and have a nice day.